Hey, my name is April, and I'm the Peaceful Wife. Today I'd like to talk about that strong marriages do not happen by accident. When we watch movies, or read romantic novels, or we watch other people's lives, sometimes it can seem like a strong marriage, a strong relationship, is a magical thing, it's mystical, it just happens like somehow in ways we can't explain. But actually, building a strong relationship is very specific. There are certain building blocks that we need to use to build a strong relationship or a strong marriage. And then there are certain things that destroy any kind of relationship or marriage that we want to avoid. Some marriage destroyers are things like complaining, arguing, criticizing, negativity, focusing only on the bad things, perfectionism, insults, if I'm acting like a prosecuting attorney toward the other person, biting sarcasm, like sarcasm that's meant to harm, bitterness, resentment, and unforgiveness, when those things, all of these things, if they go unresolved and they go unaddressed, can destroy relationships. Pride, looking outside of the marriage for fulfillment, whether that's to porn, emotional affairs, physical affairs, or even romantic novels or friendships or work or ministry, if we are neglecting the marriage, um, that's going to be a problem. Some other marriage destroyers, codependency, being enmeshed, which is idolizing the other person, idolizing other things like self, happiness, marriage, children, entitlement, discontentment, shutting down and being passive that's also destructive, trying to control other people is always going to be destructive, believing lies about God, others, or ourselves, scorekeeping, manipulation, fear and worry, Neglect, not having enough time together, being too busy, sinful jealousy, secret keeping, some other things that are destructive, developing friends of the opposite sex to confide in, comparing our marriage or spouse to others, unbiblical or unrealistic expectations, hatred and contempt, gossiping about our spouse, slandering them, selfishness and selfish ambition, the Bible says where that, where that exists, there is every kind of evil. Greed, disrespect, and that's on either side for all these things are on either side for husbands and wives. Assuming the worst instead of the best. Harshness, having a quick temper, and of course any kind of abuse, rage, violence, those kinds of things are destructive too. And I've got a post, I'm going to put the link to the post from my blog under the video here. So you can go to that. It's got links on almost all of these topics if you want to look into something in more detail. Some marriage builders. These are ways we build relationships. We build our marriage. We help it become stronger. We have gratitude for the good things in our spouse. We develop a thankful heart. We use our words to speak life. We focus on the Philippians 4, 8 things about our spouse, our marriage, and our life. That's the Whatever is good, whatever is perfect, whatever is excellent or praiseworthy. Kindness is a wonderful marriage builder that I think a lot of times we don't even think about. Shanti Felden has a great book called The 30 Day Kindness Challenge that I would encourage you to look into. We tend to think that we are kind, but we tend to kind of slack off with our family and our husbands, assuming that they know that we love them and appreciate them. A little bit of kindness can do wonders in our relationships. Genuine humility on our part, other marriage builders, vulnerability and honesty, serving in love with selflessness, spending time together, enjoying each other, laughing together, contentment and joy in Christ when one of the people or hopefully both of them have that, that's a huge marriage builder. Submission to the Lordship of Jesus is a huge marriage builder even if just one of us is doing that. Handling conflict biblically without fear and without domination, not being passive, not being controlling, 
but handling it with love and truth and grace. Gentleness is a marriage builder. Patience. Faith and trust in each other whenever possible. Praying for the other person to be blessed. Flexibility. Laying down expectations, especially unrealistic and unbiblical expectations. Having a 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8 kind of love. That's God's unconditional love that is patient and kind, is not jealous or rude, is not selfish. Trustworthiness is a marriage builder, loyalty, not disclosing private things to other people, not telling everybody our business, but showing respect in that way. Friendship, being friends together. Forgiveness, more marriage builders, seeking to rebuild damaged or lost trust. Assuming the best about the other person. Respect and honor for God our spouse, and ourselves, which means we think and act rightly toward God, our spouse, and ourselves in line with God's word. Guarding our hearts against other people that could be tempting. Guarding our marriages as a marriage builder. Dreaming together, planning together. Being a safe place for each other emotionally, physically, and in every way. Creating time and space for intimacy on every level is a marriage builder. This week, in your quiet time, I invite you to ask God to help you see which marriage destroyers might be issues that you want to deal with in your life, and then to begin to practice some of the marriage builders. Your marriage, your husband, your children, and you will be blessed. Thanks so much for watching. You can also find me at my blogs, PeacefulWife.com and PeacefulSingleGirl.com.